Hey, so I am starting a vlog today. Well, right now, it's actually not day. It's like 10 o'clock at night on the 16th. And I had some vlogs sort of planned for this month. And then I did not put them, like work them into like my TBR or anything else. So a little bit of a time management fail. And I, like I was, a, uh, I, I try to upload about every five, six days or whatever. Cause I feel like if I go too long, I'll lose my momentum. And then people who watch will be like, where did she go? She dropped off the face of the earth. So I try to be kind of regular about it. I've got some coffee. It's cold outside. I don't ever hardly drink hot coffee. And you're like, Celeste, you're drinking hot coffee at 10 o'clock at night. Let me live my life. Um, actually, part of the reason it doesn't matter is because um, I have so much like allergy medication in me that it's actually surprising that I'm upright. <laughs> because let me tell you, a front moved in and it was one of those that didn't make it storm and rain. It made it the wind it got colder and colder and the wind got stronger and stronger we we're actually under like a wind advisory yesterday and i was out doing a true crime digital thing game and so i was out walking around in it it was funny i was wearing a hooded sweatshirt and i like pulled it like i had my hooded sweatshirt like the hood up and i had cinched it and i looked like kenny from south park <laughs> like I mean, it was a blue sweatshirt, not orange, but you get what I'm saying. Um, and I don't know if it was being out in the wind or if it was just the wind in general. Like, you could stay in your house. It didn't matter. But my allergies have been crazy. Like, I, could, I can't get my, I, like, I haven't been able to get my nose to stop running. It's running clear. I mean, TMI, but it's running clear. So, I'm. it's not, you know, like a sign of, like, anything but allergies, but... I was sneezing a lot too and doing the thing where you'll like sneeze like these big hard sneezes like six times in a row and people are like bless you bless you bless you and you're like shut up it's not working <laughs> like at one point I was going through that and my my oldest was in the room and he kept saying bless you and I was like can you just wait <laughs> like what can I say I guess I'm a crazy person but anyway, um, and so, um, yeah, I got it back. Anyway, get to get back to it. I, uh, have a lot of, uh, allergy medication in my system. So I'm a little bit like, Ugh. and my eyes are really like uncomfortable. I'm not wearing any makeup. I'm moisturized, but that's it. Um, just in my lounge clothes, like loose, comfortable lounge clothes. So here's what's going on. I finished yesterday a book that I hated. I gave it one star. It was called um, A or The, I don't know, Murder uh, at the Mansion. And it was like a Victorian village murder series book. It was like book one. And it was written, it's written by Sheila Connolly. And I think she's written a lot of other cozies. Like it was part of the book bitches literary society picks and it was one that I should have had read by January the 8th but I finished it yesterday on the 15th and that was because it was a struggle it was 322 pages of mass market paperback struggle although like mass market paperbacks are not my 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 favorite but I can handle one like that's how I have to get my Tessa Dare fix in so whatever but this book was poorly edited and the main character sucked so bad so I struggled through it and it I know some of y'all are screaming at me DNF DNF things I don't like to I don't like to I do sometimes or I say not gonna read this now and the thing is that I have the ability to remember things and so I'll leave my bookmark in it with this idea that if I start reading it, it'll go, it'll start coming back to me. And I'll be like, oh yeah, I remember all this, all right? I'm like, oh, it's great. Or if it's a well-known book, I just go on Wikipedia and read about it. And then I'll pick up where I left off. So there's that. Um, I'm sorry, my nose is itching. Um, 
anyway, uh, so coming off of that, like, and part of the, part of the, what I was doing to get myself through it was saying like, okay, finish this book and you can start another one. So the other one that I picked up, and I don't think I even have it in the room with me right now, vlogging fail, <laughs> um, is, uh, Jennifer Saint's Ariadne, which was one of my book of the month book picks, I guess for last spring when it came out. Um, and so I've, I, I literally read like 10 pages of it. Um, and then I'm also reading, and I do have it handy in here because I was using it during um, some sprints just a little bit ago. I'm working on Brandon Sanderson's The Well of Ascension. I love Brandon Sanderson's writing, um, and I love the story going on here. I love Vin and Ellen and, and the whole crew. Um, and and I'm, I'm into the story, like, yes okay now what happens right now what happens in this world what are we, what are, the, what are they going to do next because i feel like they're kind of in a, in a pickle because it seems like nobody knows what the heck they're doing at all like it, okay it's great to have power and then what <laughs> what do you do with that power because if you don't do it do things do things well thought out or right or whatever then uh you might screw things up worse than they already are or just keep the status quo I don't know so anyway um I'm so you see I'm like not even 10 percent into it but I've read over like I've read over 70 pages but when you're reading like a book that's 700 pages you hear that he's hefty um then 70 pages is like pff, whatever um so I guess in this vlog what I want to do is read more of this um I yeah um I also was reading I, I'm a little more than halfway done with reading the poems the the book of poetry by Lily Reinhardt um so I need to sit down and finish that I read some of it today y'all they're not very good like I hate to say that, but they're not very good. I, one of the, so one of the things I do when I'm re, when I'm reading something like poetry or essays or short stories is I sort of like for each one I sort of go, did I love it? Did I like it? Do I just feel meh about it? Or did or is it yuck? Is it did I like no, not I don't like it. Um, and I start like sort of put tally marks in each of the column for each of the poems or essays or whatever I'm I'm reading. And there's way more check marks, tally marks, whatever, for the, for the meh and the yuck. There's no love. I have no love for any of them. And I kind of hate that, but they're just not, they're not it. They're not doing it. So that's a bummer. Um, so yeah, like, I don't really know what I'm doing, but I figured I would just film a vlog and y'all can see what I'm doing. Um, but my goal this week is to read more of The Well of Ascension. Um, I'm off tomorrow, so I will be, I like, I need to spend a little bit of time working on lesson plans and some grading, but I also plan on reading. But hope, if my allergies are crazy, who knows, I might be, I was unconscious for part of the day because the medication made me so sleepy, so. Anyway, okay, this was a long first check-in, but here we are, and I will see you in the next clip, hopefully with something more interesting going on. <laughs> hey, so it is 10 a.m. on the 17th. I am working on my diamond painting. I'll show you guys. Da -da -da -da. I don't have the light on. I don't know, it's like my eyes are not as good as they, and it's a mystery diamond painting, so I don't know, I, would, I don't know what it's going to be when I'm done with it. Um, so that's kind of exciting. I haven't done any um, reading yet today, but I ended my night last night by reading more of the second Trials of Apollo book. It's the book that I've been reading on my Kindle, so... I read my Kindle usually, and I say Kindle, it's like a, a mini iPad with a Kindle app, because the actual Kindles I've ever gotten have all, like, broken. Like, I'm fussy about that. Like, there's a thing with Kindles where 
the charging port comes unsoldered very easily and you could pry open your can Kindle and re-solder the charging port but I don't want to have to do that so I, I, bought, I bought a Kindle I have I've had several over the years um, and I'm just using the app on my phone and my iPad from now on um, so yeah there's that um, so I, I, re I read some of that um, I think today I'm going to spend spend some time finishing this book. I don't really want to because I'm not enjoying it, but I want to finish it so it'll be done. And I'm, I'm, I'm like mostly done with it. And the poems are really short and they're not very thoughtful. <laughs> I mean, maybe they were thoughtful when she wrote them, but they're not thoughtful as far as thought provoking. So there's that. Um, I also am thinking about maybe grabbing up a little from over here I was also thinking about maybe reading the final the sixth volume of cells at work um just so I could be done with this um set because there's other sets of cells at work and I'm on the fence about them I don't know I, I'm, I'm interested in the code black set because it has to do with like venereal disease ooh, and like drinking and drugs and things like that so I am there we go there's some lighting I am kind of interested in that so yeah hey maybe I'll maybe I'll move on to that uh, when I feel a, a need to but yeah I'm still I'm working through my TBR so as far as the TBR like I mentioned in my TBR video that I get um, bothered because I feel like a failure because I get off of them because I'm such a mood reader. But I was really careful about the books that I chose. And then, um, and then along with that, so like they're books that I, I want to read. Um, and then I feel accountable because I know I'm going to have to make videos about it. So I'm sorry, my allergies are still going crazy. Um, I'm waiting for the allergy meds to like fully kick in I haven't been up for very long but um yeah so anyway the TBR so far is going okay um I'm, I'm sticking to it so far and it's sort of like in the back of my mind it's like hey read these books and then you can read some other things and I'm like okay maybe so um because there's some other books that I kind of want to read. Yeah. Like, or I need to read, like, our, um, the next book, literary, book bitch literary society book is now kind of on my radar. And our meeting is on February the 6th. So it's better for me to read it in January than to wait until February 1st because then I'm not on such a time crunch because sometimes during the work week, my brain is just tired and I just can't do it. Can't do it at all. So anyway, um, I just wanted to like kind of check in and I will uh, check in in just a little bit. Hey, so I've come to the bedroom and um, doing a little reading and snuggling with the cats. Look at how cute they are. Look how cute they are, so fuzzy. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I finished Swimming Lessons, which were the, it was a collection of poems, um, by Lily Reinhardt, and I didn't like them. They weren't very good. They needed to be, like, workshopped. It was like, she wrote them down and then sent them to the publisher, and it, it was sort of like reading a teenager's journal, basically. Needed, they need, it needed a lot of work. Anyway, um, so just wanted to check in real quick, and I will probably check in again either, probably tomorrow, honestly, because today is just sort of like a around-the-house day. Ugh, hey, so, um, I just got done with work, I'm taking off all the... Uh, layers of things um it was like 35 degree th degrees this morning if I can talk Fahrenheit for all my non-american friends 
And so I'm wearing, you know, like a sweater and I had that scarf on, it was all bundled up and had my hair down. And then it, at the moment it's like 70 degrees. So <laughs> it went up like 30 degrees. Um, yeah, so I, what did I do last night? I read and then I went to bed fairly decent time and I am on my way home. I've had my day at work. Um, it was a weird day because I just gave the kids a chance to work on one of their essays. I did not spend a lot of time up on my feet in front of them because uh, I don't like to get my classes. We have a, what is it, um, alternating block schedule. So today was a day with my even day classes, like two, four, six, eight, which I don't have a second period. And then, so tomorrow is odd, but tomorrow I won't really see my classes because they're doing like a mock uh, test for like the STAR test, which is the state mandated test here in Texas. Um, so, um, yeah, it was kind of a eh, whatever kind of day. I used the last of my coffee this morning. I generally drink my coffee like iced coffee because um, it's so hot here usually in Texas and like it has to be pretty cold for me to drink a hot drink because I don't know I just get hot really easily temperature fluctuations um, so I am likely to go to my, it was funny my husband was like Hey, are you going to, when you go to tar, like, are you going to Target to get yourself some more coffee? Because I know you're in out. And I was like, well, I could go to Target. I said, but I wasn't definitely going. Like, he made it sound like I was definitely going to Target. And I was like, I, I could go by the, there's an H E, there's two H E B's <laughs> between me and home. I was like, I could stop by the H E B. It's, you know, just the same distance or whatever. And he was like, okay. It was a text, so I'm pretty sure the tone was, okay. And so I texted him and said, hey, so what did you want from Target? <laughs> and he sent me a picture of it. And I said, you know, they never have it. Like, I'll look. I'll go to Target. I'll look. But you know they never have what you're asking me to find. And it's an action figure of some sort. He collects action figures the way that I collect books. So there's that. Um, and of course, like, standard basic girl, I go to Target, I'm going to end up spending money. <laughs> so, you know, that's something. So anyway, my plans are, I need to go home and I actually have some papers I need to read. I got to get my grades updated by the end of this week. I also have some like essay responses that I need to grade which don't take very long. And the reason that I didn't do them today was because the kids making noise in the room with me was a little distracting. And it seemed like I would put one earbud in and have like, it was like ambient music from the 2005 Pride and Prejudice playing. And then a kid would start talking to me and I'd have to take it out because I, I have to, I'm listening with both ears, right? I have to listen with both ears. Um, even if I don't, you know, I can't have the music playing when they talk to me directly and I'm trying to hear what they say. So pff, that sucks. Um, I, so anyway, I've got to do some of those things. As far as reading goes, I'm going to keep working on the well of ascension i just i don't feel like i'm very far in it i'm like 120 something pages i guess which see is over 100 pages but when the book that you're reading is over 700 pages well that's just barely anything so. anyway um so i think that i will spend time working on that reading tonight um with what time I do spend reading because you know I gotta do some I gotta eat and I gotta chill and I gotta like get ready for the night I gotta do my duolingo I didn't I don't have to take off my makeup because I didn't wear any makeup because dadgummit my allergies are still not great all that wind that we had I guess blew everything up and just 
aggravated the mess out of my allergies and so my eyes were kind of like red and burny and so I felt like it was probably a bad idea to put you know makeup on them so okay well I guess I will check back when I actually get home and talk a little bit about like what I've read what I've been re what I'm reading um, I guess and I'll show you if I get anything cool at Target I guess <laughs> if I find the action figure that he wants me to find I just don't I oop, I'm just not very good at his scavenger hunt so anyway uh, I will check back with you guys in just a bit okay and backlit not a good angle but <laughs> whatever uh, it's Saturday yeah like where have all my clips gone well I meant to to, to a few clips but I didn't bring my camera to work and then whenever I would get home from work I was just sort of I don't know overwhelmed and in a funk so you didn't miss much mostly what I was doing was um, laying in bed watching Vampire Diaries on Netflix I watched a lot of Vampire Diaries this week <laughs> uh, just as like a trashy comfort you know release like after I would come home from work and I would also go to bed kind of early so there's that I just woke up that's why I sound weird and uh and look tired um so anyway it's Saturday and it's kind of cold like it's like 10 something well almost 11 and it's like 40 degrees outside and that's cold for us we got a little a little cold front cooled it off so um what I have been doing this week, I, I've been listening, mostly listening to my audiobook. I've been listening to The Sky Fell on Splendor by Emily Henry. Because I kind of wanted to make it to where I've read all of Emily Henry's books. And that was one that I hadn't gotten to. And I was supposed to read it as like a book club pick, like, I don't know, a couple of years ago, I guess. Because it came out in 2019. And I didn't read it, so that's me catching up on it. I'm almost done with it. I might turn it on and do some diamond painting just to finish it today. Um, I also was reading the second book in the tr Rick Riordan's Trials of Apollo. That's the one that I'm reading on my, like, Kindle. It's not even a Kindle. It's a mini iPad, but I use the Kindle app on it, so I call it my Kindle. Um, and it's from Kindle Unlimited. So, I would read the first one. I liked it well enough. So, you know, I'm just going to, this is something to read at night in the dark, right before bed. And then, um, what else? Uh, I've read a little bit of The Well of Ascension. I read a little bit of Ariadne, but not a whole lot. Because there were some days after work that my eyes were tired. Like, for those that don't know, I'm an English teacher. So, sometimes... I'm around a lot of words all day long and so at night sometimes I'm just worded out yeah and peopled out too because I'm around like 14 and 15 year olds all day long so sometimes I'm just like I just want to come home and take off my real pants and put on pajama pants and take off my bra and not talk to anyone <laughs> yeah that's just that's just the that's the truth of that that's some real talk in this vlog so anyway I will I'm going to do some more reading I'll, I don't know see if I can't finish up this vlog so I can go ahead and post it it's kind of boring there's not much to it we're not going anywhere because it's cold and it's supposed to be like a hard freeze tonight so I might actually put a fire in the fireplace maybe so so anyway I will see you guys in the next clip hopefully it's like better lit <laughs>
Oh, hey, so I think I'm going to finish up this vlog here. Um, it's been kind of a eh week, but you know, like I enjoy seeing vlogs that are people's actual lives, even if they're not glamorous and polished and all that good stuff. So, um, the, what I realized after I started my vlog that I didn't, um, didn't think about before I started it is that I'm reading books that are in the midst of series. So it's hard to talk about my thoughts on a book if it is the, you know, second or third or fourth or however many in the series, because then I can't really talk about it. Like, like on my Kindle, I've been reading the second book in the Trials of Apollo uh, series by Rick Riordan. And I mean, I can only tell you uh, the synopsis of the first book because it, and even then, some of it's a little spoily, spoilery because if you haven't read um, all of, I don't know, the other books in that world, then you're either a little bit lost or you're a little bit spoiled if you wanted to go back and read them or whatever. So there's that. Um, what else? Oh, I've, I've been reading Cells at Work. I read number, I've read volume six today, which is the fall, fall, the final, hello, of those volumes. Can't really talk too much about it. I mean, it's, they're all kind of the same, but I don't want to inadvertently spoil it. So yeah, there's that. Um, I am reading The Well of Ascension, which is number two. <laughs> the misboard. So you guys see what kind of like, it's hard to talk about a book if it could spoil. I did, okay, I did finish um, When the Sky Fell on Splendor by Emily Hen Henry. Um, and it's a standalone YA supernatural-ish contemporary book. Um, I was, and the reason I was reading that is, A, I was supposed to read it back in, like, 2019, and I didn't, um, but, and then B, um, I could get it on my Kindle, uh, not my Kindle, my, uh, Audible Plus catalog, it was in there, um, and I think, how many stars did I give it? I think I gave it three stars, it was just, eh, it was fine. Emily Henry writes really well, like, characters, like, her characters interact, their conversation is, is, flows really well, like, some, some writers struggle with conversation between their characters, like, mm hmm and just, like, it's, and, and Emily Henry writes, um, teenagers very well, I realize that now she's writing adults, um, but, in case you didn't realize, she was writing YA before she sh she transitioned with, um, what is it, uh, Beach Read, and then, people we, and then People We Meet on Vacation, and then the one that's coming out is something about book lovers. Those are all about adults and for adults, um, but she wrote The Love That Split the World, A Million Junes, and then When the Sky Fell in Splendor. I think I've listed them all. I hope I didn't forget one. Tell me in the comments if I forgot one. And so anyway, I kind of want to like, I don't know, have read her, all her books. So anyway, so there's that. Um, and, oh, I started reading Ariadne. I'll show you guys. I have it here on the table with me. So it's one of my book of the month books. Um, I, I, I make them naked when I read them because I don't like to tear dust jackets. But I'm only about, oh, I don't know, 20%-ish through it. Um, so far, so good. Reviews that I've read, because I do look at some reviews, have said that it gets a little wonky like halfway or maybe two-thirds of the way through. So we'll see. Uh, the, the thing about it is when I go into these retellings, I like a retelling. Mm, I'm a sucker for a retelling. But um, when I go into these retellings, I like to make sure that I know like the source material and stuff. And it wasn't that long ago that I listened on audiobook to Stephen Fry's Heroes. Like I listened to Mythos and Heroes and whatever the other one was. There's three of them. Um... 
and so I um so I am aware I, you know I'm aware of of like some of the source material the thing about Ariadne is that the myths that surround her particularly vary and the reason for that is because like they were they come from oral tradition where the myths were kept alive by uh by you know singers bards what have you who were traveling and 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 entertaining because you know you had to entertain them by the fire at night before you went to bed while you were drinking and so some of there's some there's there's one direction it could go and another direction it could go and i'm aware of the directions um and i'm interested in seeing where that goes and also two different authors because ariadne's written by jennifer saint and i believe this is her debut and then but other on the market big retellings would be like Madeline Miller's um, Circe and Song of Achilles. I haven't read Song of Achilles, but I have a co actually I have two copies of it because I'm, I did one of those dodo things where I had a copy and then I bought a copy because <laughs> I forgot. So anyway, um, I haven't read it yet, uh, regardless of how many copies I own. But I did read Circe, and the thing about Circe is that Ariadne is in it ever so briefly, and I already noticed a difference between how her mother was characterized in Circe as opposed to how her mother's characterized so far in uh, Ariadne. And I don't know. I can't, like, I can't make my brain not compare them. So there's that. So anyway, um, I, I finished some things but didn't finish some other things. Well of Ascension, I'm just going to wallow in for a while. Um, the... Trials of Apollo book, uh, like, I'm getting through it. It's interesting, it's good, it's whatever, but it's one of those that I read for a few minutes right before I go to sleep. Um, and then Ariadne is reading really fast, so I think that that's going to be fine. Um, what's left on my TBR for January, and it's January, it's, it's the 23rd, but it's like the middle of the night, so it's early on the 23rd. Um... I have the two, the fifth and the sixth of the Sean and McGuire, of the Wayward Children series. So I need to read uh, Green Grass Fields and like across, across the Green Grass Fields and Where the Drowned Girls Go. But each of those are short. Like they're very short. They're only like, what, one or 200 pages. Like not very long. So I don't think they'll take me very long. And the other one that I have pulled is The Summoning by, I think his last name is Simmons, um, and it's sort of a thrillery, mystical thriller. I'm not quite sure, to be honest. So anyway, I'm going to stop this vlog here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. If you like uh, my videos, my vlogs, or what have you, give me a like, you know, a thumbs up. Um, and consider subscribing and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.